Well, uh, welcome to Daily Devotions with yours, Apostle Des. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel because um, in that way you will see the videos uh, when they come on. So subscribe today if you can to the YouTube channel. Um, just look for Daily Devotions with Apostle Des. And there's some uh, quite a few videos there. We've been going through the Book of Acts. If you go scroll right down to the first video, uh, then we, we started the Book of Psalms and we've still not finished them yet. But today uh, I felt led to speak about a wonderful word and it's called grace. Grace. And isn't it wonderful to know that you and me, we are saved by grace. It's by grace that we've been saved through faith. And uh, faith is a gift from God. How many know faith does not come from ourselves? It's a gift that God gives us. God gives us the faith to believe. That's why it says it's by grace that you have been saved through faith. And it's faith is not of your own, but is a gift of God. And God has given us the faith to believe in him, to walk with him, to hear from him, to believe his promises, to believe his word. I mean, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. So by grace, the moment we receive Jesus Christ, that day we are saved by his sovereign grace and his grace keeps us so our salvation starts with grace and then when God begins to use you and me in different ways how I many you know we are individual God has made us unique there is only one you hallelujah and God has made us all unique uh, but at the same time, we're, we're, we're the part of the body of Christ. But we have different functionings, different gifts. And God uses us all as he determines. Hallelujah. But when he uses you or uses me, it's only by his grace. You know, I've had the privilege over the last um, 34 years, I think, as being a, an evangelist as well as an apostle. It's only recently God called me to be an apostle. But but for 34 years, God has been using me as an evangelist. Only a small-time evangelist. But I praise God that I've had the privilege of seeing hundreds and hundreds of people come to faith in Christ uh, through that ministry God has given me, which is a part of Selamai. Um, so I praise God, but it, that's only by his grace. You know, me and you, we can't do anything to earn God's grace. God lavishes his grace upon us. He pours his grace into us day by day, hour by hour, so that none of us can boast of how God is using us. No, why? Because it's only by the grace of God. See, we stand in grace. We live in grace. We walk in grace. Every single day is by the grace of God. So when God saves us, it's by grace. When God uses us, it's by grace. From start to finish, it's all by the sovereign grace of God. Hallelujah. But isn't it wonderful that God uses you and me by his sovereign grace? And in the in the book of Acts, uh, I think it was in chapter four, it says about the apostles and it says, and great grace was upon them. And because God's great grace was upon them, God was using his people in a mighty way. People were being saved. People were being healed. The dead was being raised to life. 
sicknesses were being healed. The church, uh, God was adding to his church daily those who were being saved. Why? Because God's great grace was upon them. And that's all we need, brother and sister. All we need every single day is the grace of God operating in my life and in your life and in your church life, in your ministry. It's only by the grace of God so that none of us can boast. All we can boast about is how great our God is. That God in his sovereign mercy chooses to lavish his grace and love upon us in an abundant way. So just remember when God uses you, it's only by the grace of God. I remember once um, somebody asked Joseph Prince, uh, why was his church so big? Uh, I think it's in... Um, is it in Hong Kong, his church? I think it might be in Hong Kong or Singapore. And, and he said, and, and they asked him, why is your church so big? Why is God adding so many people? And all he said, he said, it's by the grace of God. It's by the grace of God. Remember the Apostle Paul? He had a thorn in the flesh and three times he asked God, he pleaded with God, take this thorn from me, take this thorn from my flesh. And what did God say? My grace is sufficient for you. And do you know what? If God's grace was sufficient for Apostle Paul, God's grace is sufficient for you and me. We can walk in his grace. We can live in his grace day by day, hour by hour. Isn't that wonderful? So I just thought I'd share that today. I was led by the Holy Spirit to share that short message about how God has saved us by grace, how God is using us by grace. And if you're watching this as well, you're not a part of a church anywhere, you're not in a church, then I would personally like to invite you to our church. It's the, the CLMI Apostolic Media Church. And we meet at Highfield Community Centre in Highfield Grange Road in Marisbridge, Wigan. We meet there every Sunday at half past 11 and we go live as well. Uh, on Facebook and social media platforms and we give our sermons live but we welcome you to join us if you're not part of a church uh, but if you are part of a church we welcome you to watch our sermons when we go live so there's the grace of God God bless you and don't forget subscribe God bless you